Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on highlighting the active text box on a user form using VBA Excel. So I have a worksheet here and I have a user form that I've constructed that will allow me to add data to these variables on this worksheet. So we have GPA, midterm exam, final exam, comments, grade, and outcome. So if I move here to this blue rectangle, right click and go to assign macro, you can see this is associated with a subroutine named open form. If I move over to the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11, you can see this subroutine open form just has two lines of code, user form one dot show, that brings up the user form, and user form one dot text box one dot set focus, which sets the focus to text box one when the user form is displayed. And the user form is here. This is user form one. So if I move back to the worksheet, so I'll select the cell that I want to start entering data into, and that's going to be B2. So I select that cell and go to this blue rectangle. And you can see it opens up user form one. Up top it says enter data. And we have all the different variables from the worksheet here. GPA all the way through outcome. And they correspond to the variables here. So I'll just enter in say 2.9 for GPA, 80 for midterm, 75 for final. Let's go with none for comments, grade B, and then outcome. Let's assume outcome is zero or one. Put in a zero and click enter. So it gives us all the data that we entered. It returns that onto the worksheet and then it advances to the next row automatically so we can continue entering data. But what I want to happen here is as I move through these fields, I want the field that has the focus, the text box that has the focus, to have a yellow background that makes it distinct from the non-active text boxes that will continue to have the white background. So there are a few ways to accomplish this. I'm going to move back to Visual Basic Editor. The method I'm going to use will allow each text box to have a different color. So it's going to be the same two events for each text box. Now one is enter and one is exit. So I go here to the user form and double click on text box one. You can see this brings up text box one underscore change. However, I don't want to use that. I want to use enter and exit. So if I go up here to the top right, this drop down, I'm going to select enter and exit. Select both of them. It creates two new subroutines, text box one, enter and exit. And I'll delete this change one. So under the first subroutine, text box one, enter, I'm just going to use one line of code. This will be text box one dot back color. So it's the back color property of this control. And I'll set this to equal VB yellow. So when we enter this control, when it has the focus, the background will be yellow. However, we also want to make sure it goes back to white when we exit. So moving down to text box one underscore exit, this will be text box one dot back color equals VB white. And again, if we want to be able to individually control each text box, we use this method where we have enter and exit for each one. Rather than looping through all the controls or something like that, this one we're going to have individual enter and exit events for each text box. If I go over to the worksheet, and again I just have text box one being affected right now, I'll click the blue rectangle, open up the user form, and you can see because this sets the focus to text box one when it's opened, it has this yellow background. If I click the tab key, 
it returns to white. However, I want this to be affecting all of the text boxes. So I'm going to go back in to the Visual Basic Editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste these two subroutines. Control-C, Control-V. And I'm just going to change text box 1 to 2. Every, every place there's a text box 1, change that to 2. So those four places. And now if I move back to the worksheet, of course now text box 1 and 2 will be affected. And then to expand that to all of them, I just need to repeat that same procedure, copy and paste, and change the text box number. So I include all the text boxes on this user form. There are six altogether. Okay, so I've added all of these subroutines and for each pair of subroutines made the four changes necessary so that each text box is included one up here up top all the way through six so now moving back to the worksheet open up the user form and now as I click the tab button on the keyboard the active text box has a yellow background and when I move off of it, it turns back to white. So the user can tell quickly which text box will be edited if data is entered through the keyboard. And to control these text boxes individually, moving back to Visual Basic Editor, just change under the Enter, just change the color to the color that you want the back color to appear as, and just leave the white for the color that the text box returns to. So this can be changed from yellow to any of the other colors supported by Excel. And each text box can be changed independently of the other text boxes. I hope you found this video on highlighting the active text box using Excel VBA to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.